Look, I get that you are eager to comment to try to prove me wrong in the comment section, but at least watch the video before you comment. Also, please pay attention throughout the video. You have no idea how many comments I get from people who don't pay attention to my videos and make complete asses out of themselves in the comment section. Like for example, some people think I hate Sonic Colors because I was criticizing the game for its story and the jokes in one of my videos. For the record, I don't hate Sonic Colors. Never have, never will. I just didn't like how the story and the jokes were executed. But regardless, I do think it's a good game, no matter what I say. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Konnichiwa, my fellow Takus and non-Takus. I am Otaku Rubila, which means Geek Reviewer in Japanese. I review video games, anime, and manga. In my Should Sega Make Sonic Adventure 3 video, I said that Sonic Heroes, Sonic Next Gen, and Sonic Unleashed were not Sonic Adventure 3 while giving out a brief reason why I don't believe these games should be labeled as Sonic Adventure 3. This caused a bunch of people trying to tell me that I was wrong or try to convince me that one of these games were Sonic Adventure 3. But you want to know what I find interesting about their comments? None of them provide any sources to prove to me that Sonic Heroes, Sonic 06, and Sonic Unleashed were Sonic Adventure 3. They acted as if their opinions were facts and thought that was enough to counter my points. Although there was one person who gave out a source to prove to me that one of these games were Sonic Adventure 3, but I'll get to that in just a sec. Well guess what Sonic fans, I have strong evidence to support that these Sonic games are not Sonic Adventure 3. I'll even put my sources in the description so you guys can read the articles yourselves after you're done watching my video. And that's not all, I'll even point out some of the reasons why some people believe that these games are Sonic Adventure 3. After all, it's only fair that I would compare your guys' points with mine, right? Anyway, let's start with Sonic Heroes. Now, the reason why some people believe that Sonic Heroes is Sonic Adventure 3 is because 1. The game takes place after Sonic Adventure 2. 2. You can play different Sonic characters in the story mode, the stage select, and the multiplayer. And 3. You go through stage to stage like Sonic Adventure 2. That might be true, but here's why I don't believe that Sonic Heroes is Sonic Adventure 3. Number 1. Sonic Heroes' gameplay is not the same as the Sonic Adventure games. The controls are slippery, the Sonic characters don't pick up any special equipment that can grant new powers and abilities, and the game is more team focused. Number 2. Sonic Heroes' story is more straightforward and less complex than the Sonic Adventure games. Number 3. There is no Chow Garden. And number 4. Takashi Izuka says that Sonic Heroes is its own new franchise. In other words, a different experience. And the reason why he didn't want to make Sonic Adventure 3 was because he felt that only core gamers would buy the title, and instead decided to create a game that more casual players could adapt to. Here, I have the sources to prove it. Electronic Gaming Monthly, or EGM for short, interviewed Izuka on February 3rd, 2004, and asked, Why didn't you include child raising in the game? He responds, Well, in Sonic Adventure, the game was more story driven and full of variety while Heroes is more team focused. The child raising would have broken up the action too much. In Sonic Adventure, we created a child garden so that new players would be forced to go out, explore the action sections, and find fleekies and things. In Heroes, even if you're completely new to Sonic, you can play Team Rose and learn how the game works. The level up items are the new motivating factor in Heroes. Also, we removed the fleekies so that users who played Sonic Adventure wouldn't be confused into thinking that there was a child garden somewhere. The Sonic Adventure series has not ended. Though, so theoretically, the Child Garden could return sometime. Heroes is its own new franchise. One of the staff members from Edge, which is a video game magazine published by Future PLC, interviewed Izuka on December 30th, 2007, and asked him, You made games at the US studio that have sold very well, but haven't been well received by critics or hardcore fans. Why do you think that is? Izuka responds, I felt that if I kept developing Sonic Adventure sequels, only core gamers would pick them up. I wanted to develop Sonic for more general users as well, so that's why I changed the name each time. So there you have it folks, Takashi Izuka confirmed that Sonic Heroes is not Sonic Adventure 3. Now let's move on to Sonic 06, the game that most people think is Sonic Adventure 3. 1. Sonic 06's gameplay is very similar to Sonic Adventure's gameplay. Sonic, Shadow, and Silver can buy any special equipment that can grant new powers and abilities from an item shop in the hub world. 2. Hub worlds are used in this game like in Sonic Adventure. 3. 
Sonic 06's story is as complex and story driven like the adventure games. 4. You can select a character's story and a last story like in the adventure games. 5. You can play as multiple playable characters in the game, each with special abilities like in the Sonic Adventure games. 6. The A carrier from Sonic Adventure returns in Sonic 06. 7. The part where the orca chases Sonic in the Wave Ocean is a callback from Sonic Adventure. 8. Sonic uses a snowboard at a snow themed level called Wyacropolis. In addition, a snowball also chased Sonic in the levels, like in Sonic Adventure. And 9. The multiplayer feature makes a return once more. So with these many points, does that mean Sonic 06 is Sonic Adventure 3? Mm, not quite. I know some of you out there are shocked to hear me say that, seeing that there are many points to back up that Sonic 06 is Sonic Adventure 3. However, there is one problem that counters all your guys' points. Sonic 06 is a reboot. For those of you who don't know what a reboot is, reboot means to discard all continuity in an established series in order to recreate its characters, timeline, and backstory from the beginning. So in other words, Sonic 06 was going to kick off a brand new series, making all the previous Sonic games non-canon. Hell, Silver's old voice actor's resume shows that there was going to be a game called Sonic the Hedgehog Awakening, which was most likely going to be a DLC exclusive, judging how the Sonic games are listed and ordered in the resume. What, don't believe me? Here are two articles that I found about Sonic 06. On September 8th, 2005, IGN published an article revealing that Sonic 06 was announced as a re-imaging of the franchise with its inspiration being drawn from the original series. As always, Sonic Guru, Yuji Naka, will be heading up the brand new project with special assistance by the original series character designer, Naoto Oshima. Sonic the Hedgehog represents the most recognizable example of classic Sega properties that we will recreate for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, said Naoya Surumi. CEO of Sega America Inc. and Sega Europe Limited. When Sonic the Hedgehog debuted on the Sega Genesis in 1991, he reinvented the action platform genre with speed and attitude. By harnessing the power of these new platforms, we are confident that Sonic will once again raise the bar for action gaming in 2006 and beyond. We are proud to recreate our famous friend Sonic for a new generation of gamers on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 said Yuji Naka, R&D Creative Officer, Sega Corporation. With Sonic the Hedgehog, we have gone back to our starting point more than 15 years ago to reinvent the attitude and speed that made our hero a legend. The rebirth of Sonic will offer an unparalleled sense of speed that is only possible using the processing power afforded by the new systems. The second article from GamesIndustry.biz restates everything that IGN has already written for their article, but Notice the title of the article, Sega reinvents Sonic the Hedgehog experience for next generation video game platforms. As you can see, Sonic 06 was going to be introduced as a reboot of the Sonic franchise, but because the game was negatively received by critics and fans alike, Sega decided to scrap the idea of making a reboot series. So knowing this fact, Sonic 06 is not Sonic Adventure 3. The reason why Sonic 06 had the adventure formula gameplay was because Sega took all the elements that people had praised in the adventure titles and tried to bring Sonic back to his roots. This would also explain why Blaze is in the future and why Shadow works for Gun in Sonic 06. Think about it, when was it the last time that Shadow has done a mission for Gun in any of the Sonic games after Sonic 06 was released? And yes, I am well aware that the reason why Blaze is in the future is because everyone in Sonic Team forgot that Blaze is from a parallel dimension, according to Izuka. Okay, seriously, Izuka, if the Sonic fanbase knows more about the franchise than you and your team, then you guys have a severe problem. Anyway, despite these sources confirming that Sonic 06 is a reboot, there are people out there who think Sonic 06 is not a reboot. Here, see for yourself. God, I love it when Sonic fans make complete asses out of themselves. And I know what you guys are going to say to me in the comments section. If Sonic 06 is a reboot, 
then why does Crisis City make an appearance in Sonic Generations? Simple, my fellow Sonic fans. Sega does not care about continuity. According to Kevin Eva, the former Sega Europe community manager, the canon and continuity of the Sonic the Hedgehog games are somewhat in flux all the time. As such, certain plot elements are only valid whenever Sega wants or need them to be at the time, and can be easily changed later on. See? They don't give a shit about being consistent. They can just fuck up the continuity all they want without getting thought. I mean, look at these sources that I found. The Super Emeralds are no longer canon, including Hypersonic, Hyper Knuckles, and Super Tails. That is fucking bullshit. This would also explain why some of the Sonic characters' personalities keep changing throughout the years. To make things worse, Blaze, for some odd reason, remembers Crisis City in Sonic Generations. When completing the challenge act in Crisis City, Blaze piercing the flames, Blaze will say, I never thought I would find myself in Crisis City again. This world is full of surprises. When talking to her in the hub world. <sighs> okay. Seriously, what the fuck, Sega? How the hell does she remember Crisis City when the events from Sonic 06 were erased at the end of the game? It makes no sense whatsoever. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fine example of Sega not giving a shit. Sega has proven that there is no consistent timeline or any continuity in the Sonic series. They keep making shit up as long as they go. Anyway, let's talk about the last Sonic game in this video, Sonic Unleash. Now this is going to be interesting folks, so I hope you've been paying attention this far. Here are the main reasons why some people believe that Sonic Unleash is Sonic Adventure 3. 1. Sonic Unleash features a hub role like Sonic Adventure. Two. Sonic can pick up special equipment and can grant new powers and abilities in the hub worlds like Sonic Adventure. And 3. The most damning evidence of them all, Sonic Unleashed began development as Sonic Adventure 3. Knowing this huge piece of evidence, surely Sonic Unleashed is Sonic Adventure 3, right? Nope. You gotta be f***ing kidding me! Look, I know some of you guys are pissed off at me right now, but let's look at this very carefully, ladies and gentlemen. Notice the words originally started off. That means Sonic Unleashed was going to be Sonic Adventure 3 until Sonic Team decided to go in another direction with it. To back up my argument, let's analyze Yoshihisa Hashimoto's interview with Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power asked Hashimoto, In previous interviews, you say that Sonic Unleashed began life as Sonic Adventure 3. Why the title change? Was it purely a marketing issue or did the philosophy behind the game change as well? Hashimoto responds, the Sonic Adventure series is a monumental creation for our development team, and a measuring stick when creating Sonic titles. This title was first envisioned as Sonic Adventure 3, from an ideological standpoint. But we ultimately decided to introduce further innovations while inheriting the ideology of Sonic Adventure. As a result, we thought a new title would be more appropriate of this game, rather than calling it a sequel to Sonic Adventure. And there you have it folks! Hashimoto, the director of Sonic Unleashed, confirmed that Sonic Unleashed is not Sonic Adventure 3. It may have started off as Sonic Adventure 3, but it turned into its own thing later on in development. So hopefully my video proves to you guys once and for all that none of these Sonic games are Sonic Adventure 3. And the last thing I want to bring up is the Chow Garden. I have gotten a few comments from people telling me that the Chow Garden doesn't determine a Sonic game that it is a sequel to the Sonic Adventure games. Or the Chow Garden wasn't everything what the Sonic Adventure series was about. Well, the reason why I was empathizing about the Chow Garden in my video was because Izuku stated in his interview with Electronic Gaming Monthly that the Chow Garden was a Sonic Adventure exclusive content. Yes, I'm well aware that the Sonic Advance games have a Chow Garden feature as well, but those Chow Gardens were 2D, not 3D. I understand that a Chow Garden doesn't automatically make a Sonic game a sequel to the Sonic Adventure games. There are more layers into what qualifies a Sonic Adventure game to be a Sonic Adventure game. The gameplay needs to be balanced with both speed and platforming like it was in the adventure games. The story needs to have a perfect mix of both lighthearted moments and dark moments with a complex story that is easy to follow. We should have the ability to control different characters besides Sonic in single player and multiplayer mode. The music needs to have different variety of music genres in different levels, and Crush 40 needs to perform the main theme song of the game. Those are the qualifications of what makes a Sonic Adventure game a Sonic Adventure game. So here's the big question. Will we ever get a Sonic Adventure 3? In my opinion, no. I don't think Sega will make one. Even though Takashi Tsuka said in the Sonic 25th anniversary panel that he would like to make one someday, but to be honest, I think he said that just to please the Sonic fans.
I mean, back in October 27, 2010, Takashi Izuka spoke to a Dutch website known as Sega Online and was asked, Will Sonic Adventure 3 ever see the light of day? Izuka responds, No, but if an opportunity might present itself, specifically speaking, there are no plans. So right now, I can't really say anything about it. Well, on the flip side, if many people really, really want it, then perhaps this is something the Sonic fan community wants. This would be such an awesome thing, we really want it really bad, then perhaps. Well, it's been almost seven years since then, and the only information we got from Izuka is that there are no plans for Sonic Adventure 3, but he would like to make one someday. Don't pull on our heartstrings, Izuka. If we don't hear anything from Sonic Adventure 3 in the next 10 years or so, then don't make promises that you can't keep. You don't want to disappoint the Sonic fans now, do you? Anyway, even if Sonic Adventure 3 will remain as a pipe dream like Half-Life 3, I will not mind if Sega doesn't make Sonic Adventure 3. I know that might be shocking for some of you out there, but as I stated in my previous videos, I don't want Sega to make Sonic Adventure 3. Why? Because I don't think they can pull it off and I'm worried that they'll fuck it up. Besides, I don't like how the writing has been since Sonic Free Riders was released. Hopefully the writing in Sonic Forces will restore my faith in Sega's capability to make good stories again once the game is finally released. Alright guys, that's it for today. I got to gozaimasu for watching my video. If you liked this video, hit that like button and go to my channel and check out more of my other videos I've done in the past. Leave a comment what you thought about this video and be sure to share this with your friends. With that said, I'll see you guys later. Sayonara.